Making a premium cigar is far from an easy task. From the seeds to the soil to the production and packaging, over 500 pairs of hands will come in contact with the tobacco and the cigar that you have in your hand right now. The first step is to remove the central stem from the wrapper leaf. The wrapper leaf is a measure of a great cigar. It's expensive, $40 to $48 per pound, compared to $4 to $5 a pound for filler and binder. And you lose so much of the wrapper in processing. The stem itself represents 30% of the weight of the leaf and must be removed before the leaf can be used as wrapper. Another 20% will be deemed not good enough and will be degraded and used for binder. After the central stem is removed, the wrapper has been separated into left-handed and right-handed sides. Each side of the wrapper is taken from the deveining machine in piles of about 30 leaves. The different leaf sides are kept separate because they will be rolled in a different direction, either left-handed or right-handed, when the cigar is eventually rolled by the torcedores. So, each side of the wrapper leaf is taken from the destemming machine and kept together in separate piles. In this way, they can be easily identified later. The stems that have been removed from the leaves are sometimes sold to be used in other tobacco products or sometimes disposed of, depending on the company. After the leaves have been deveined, they must be separated and sorted by length and by color. The different sized leaves will be used to wrap different sized cigars. This sorting process is done in a well-lit area and is almost exclusively done by women who are typically better at assessing the fine distinctions in color between the tobacco leaves. While the wrapper leaves are being sorted, the binder and filler leaves are also being sorted and bulked into distinct piles that contain just the right formula for a particular cigar blend. These piles are given to the boncheros. Boncheros are the people who take the filler recipe and roll it into the binder leaf. Often, three to five filler leaves are rolled into a binder leaf depending on the recipe for the blend of that particular cigar. Many boncheros use a piece of equipment called a Lieberman machine, which looks like an oversized cigarette roller. This helps them to create a very consistent bunch. The boncheros will place the bunch tobacco into cigar molds, which are stacked and compressed so that the cigars will maintain their shape. The cigars are rotated in the mold so as to make sure that they're evenly compressed. In some factories, the same person serves as the bonchero and the torcedor or roller. These people are typically the most experienced rollers and they can create a perfectly formed bunch without the use of a Lieberman machine. This takes tremendous skill, especially when you're bunching a perfecto shaped cigar or one that is tapered on both ends, as in the case of this La Aurora Preferidos. This sequence shows the tremendous skill of a torcedor who is rolling a bellicoso. Shaped cigars, referred to generically as figurados, are much more difficult to roll than the standard straight-sided shape, which is called a parejo. Now take a look at a torcedor rolling a preferido, which is a perfecto shaped cigar. That is, it's tapered on both ends. This takes tremendous skill, and the artisans at the La Rora factory in the Dominican Republic must have seven to eight years of experience before they can be qualified to roll the preferidos. Mm -hmm. 
you'll note the many different cuts that must be made and the many different pieces of wrapper leaf that are used to roll this preferidos. This video should give us all a lot more appreciation for the skill that's involved in the rolling of these different shaped cigars that you and I enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis. Once again, watching a master torcedor at work, you'll clearly see the skill and well-practiced movements. Now we'll take a look as the doc shows you how not to roll a cigar. I'm going to spare you the gory details and give you the short version. My teacher, Fidel, no, not that Fidel, was a very patient teacher. He's been rolling cigars for over 30 years. Could have fooled me, it doesn't even look like he's 30 years old. Well, he's been rolling cigars since he could barely sit on a stool and reach the tabla and wield a chaveta. The chaveta, by the way, is a very sharp, curved cutting tool that's used for any number of tasks in the rolling procedure. On more than one occasion, Fidel was holding his breath, hoping I didn't lop off my fingers in my misguided attempt to roll cigars. Believe it or not, I was able to successfully roll five cigars with all my digits intact, thank you very much. The process of rolling is certainly not as easy as the experienced rollers make it look. And the process of making a cigar is a wondrous achievement by the cigar industry. Cada vez que miro a mi mulatona, no sé qué pasa por mí, no me puedo contener. Cada vez que así y le digo así, mulata, tienes en las caderas una tembladera que arrebata, mulata, tienes.